why do I just have so much satisfaction wobbling it about? Miss Mon Mon, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another testing vintage item and once again we have a beauty product. Today's item is the spoolie curler. Spoolie curlers first came out in the 50s but they really rose to popularity in the 1960s. Spoolies were basically rubber curlers with a rubber barrel and a domed cap which you would clip on and off over your curlers. They were supposed to be absolutely heatless and the best way of setting them was when you put them into your hair at night and then you wake up the next morning and then take them out. I first saw spoolies years and years ago and then completely forgot they existed until the first season of Mrs. Maisel when you see them in her hair and I thought I absolutely have to try them. So of course I went on to Amazon and I bought an entire packet of them. On Amazon I managed to find a packet of 42 for around $12 and I didn't realise until I was actually curling them into my hair, you'll see in the footage, that they come in two different sizes. So this is the bigger size and this is the smaller size. When I went to curl my hair, my hair was freshly washed that morning. I normally curl my hair with the Poison Apple Setting Spray, which I love. And I actually ran out of it halfway through the curling process. So I really had to try and make the last few drops stretch, which might have affected my final results. When I curl my hair, I normally take a small chunklet. I run my comb through it to make sure that there are no knots. And then starting from the ends of my hair, I'll wrap my ends around the barrel of the curler and then slowly making sure that the ends are tucked in, I will walk the curler all the way into the end of my hair where my head is. And once there, I just push the dome down and it snapped into place. It took me about 20 minutes to curl all my hair and this is my hair all done up. I do sleep in a scarf, so I put that on and went to bed. When I took my curlers out the next morning, I found they had curled into really nice little winglets. Even if the front section wasn't the greatest curling job of my life, it is all user error at this point. My hair was really nice, soft and bouncy, and the brush out was really quick and easy. I did manage to get a little bit of a vintage wave look, which is quite an achievement for me. I am not the greatest hairstylist, but I'm pretty happy with the final result. And this is what my hair ended up looking like once I had taken all the curls out. I'm pretty impressed with these, to be honest. I wasn't expecting them to be as easy to brush out, take out. I am, however, most surprised at how comfortable they were to sleep in. The modern ones are made out of silicon, so I'm guessing that the amount of squish that they have and the fact that the, I guess, the weight of the curler is distributed over a, like a large flat surface, that really helps it stop feeling like there's daggers in your head. I have slept in some pretty uncomfortable curling sets, and these are by far the best ones I've had. I kind of want to master them just so I can get a good night's sleep. Like anything, I'm sure spoolies take a little bit of practice, but I wanted to give you my first impressions and show you how I went about testing them out. Just like any of you, I am not a professional first time around, so I really hope that this, I guess, mini tutorial and review sort of helps you decide whether spoolies are for you or not. So what do you think? Will you be giving spoolies a try? I... I think I might actually give them a few more goes, so check back on my Instagram to see how I am going with that. But that is all I have time for you today. Thank you so much for spending some time with me and just hanging out. It's nice to be back filming. As always, if you'd like more information on spoolies, I have written up a little bit of info on my blog, as well as steps and this whole process and a bit more of my thoughts fleshed out. So you can find that it is linked down in the description box below. I do post really regularly on my blogs, so check that out for yourself. 
As always, if you'd like to continue on following me on my vintage glamour adventures, please like, comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel and find me on any of my social medias. I'd love to have you tag along on my adventures. I will see you guys hopefully very soon in my next video. But until then, be kind, be true, be you and please be safe out there. Bye!